Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have this really fun winter nail design that I wanted to share with you. I just love how these turned out. I think this is so much fun and perfect, especially now that we're still in the winter season. We haven't hit spring yet, so I want to try and get in a few more winter designs before spring does roll around. So if you'd like to see how I came up with this design and the process it took to come up with this design, stay tuned. So for this winter set, I'll be starting off and I'll be using Strong Blue by Magic Gel. In all honesty guys, like I don't even know exactly what I'm doing. I'm pretty much winging this. I just knew that I wanted to attempt to do a winter set. My next set on myself will probably end up being a winter set as well, but I just wanted to some we've gotten quite a bit of snow but it's not staying like it usually does so now that this has gone ahead and cured with the two coats it is time to apply that chrome i will be using magic gels tackless hyper shine when doing the chrome you only like as i said in prior videos that I find for me personally the sweet spot is 10 seconds with this top coat and then I can go in and apply my chrome so once I apply the top coat I will be going in and carrying this for 10 seconds and then I'll come back and apply the chrome so the chrome I'll be using is the one I picked up from Glitter Mix Kanda during their Black Friday sale and it's a beautiful blue chrome. So I've already gone ahead and cured this for 10 seconds. how stunning that is like I could have done it over black but I really want to try it over the like a similar color and it looks amazing so I can't wait to top coat this so it can truly shine look at how beautiful this comes out once the top coat is applied this just makes me want to make sure I get some more chrome pigments because they're so versatile and so much fun so the next blue I'll be using is Ocean Wonders and I'll be using this on the ring finger. Honestly, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I don't. So keep in mind guys, like had I been working on a client or had I been making these as a press on set for my shop, I would have gone in, buffed, um, prepped the nail, added a thin layer of my gel, but I just wanted to create a fun Christmas set. So like, depending on how I like the final result, maybe I'll create a set for my shop. We'll see. So let me know in the comments down below, how was your New Year's? How did you spend your Christmas? I know it may have been different for all of us this year due to the pandemic and Maybe those who weren't on lockdown having to go on lockdown or those like myself that live in Toronto who were on lockdown and then got put on another lockdown. <laughs> so let me know, what are your plans for 2021? What are your goals? So seeing as I know I'll for sure be doing some type of nail art on this nail, I am going to go in with my Ugly Duckling mat and just apply a thin, thin layer <laughs> on this nail here and then put it to cure. The matte top coat has cured. Just gonna go in and cleanse it to really give it that true matte finish. And then I can go in with some nail art. So for the ring finger, I decided that I'm gonna go in with this um, frosty image or snowman image from 
the clear jelly stamper cjfc-11 plate and it's a layered image so i'm gonna do his body then outline him and then i'll add like his little accessory the white polish that i'll be going in with is twinkle tea glow my outlines I will be going in with clear jelly stamper um I can't remember the name of it but I will have it inserted here for you and it's just the black stamping polish So for the nose, I'll be using um, this stamping polish I picked up a few years back. I'll actually be sharing this because this is from the bin of stuff that I need to share and get put away. So this is from a brand called Ever After and it's called Layla Stamping 8. Never used it so let's see how this turned out because my other one, orange that I wanted to use, it didn't. It seems like I've had it for quite some time so now it's just not as nice as I would have liked it and this might just be a bit too light snowman's coming along guys so I'm just gonna go in apply um, another layer of matte so that when I layer everything in case I do make a mistake I don't have to start from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do the outline of Frosty's nose and then I'll do his hat. Just gonna hope or try to line this up best as possible. So for Frosty's arms, I'm going to go in with Clear Jelly Stamper Salted Caramel. I was going to do his arms black, but I figured the brown would make more sense. So I think my camera had stopped recording when I was trying to do um, Snowman's first arm, so I'll just do it again. So next I'm going to do his eyes. And then we're doing his pipe, which I'm trying to figure out the best angle right now. Frosty is getting all dressed up guys. He's gonna be prepared for the snow. The red that I will be using is Monde de Unas Red. Honestly, this is so pigmented. It's one of my favorites so far. Alright, so this is what Frosty looks like so far. Well, not so far. He's done. I'm happy with him. Oh, nah. 
I forgot to put his buttons on, but it's alright. The scarf's covering it. <laughs> so now, I'm thinking if maybe I should do like Frosty the Snowman. And if I should put some chrome. Maybe I'll do that. For the words, I will be going in and using um, Clear Jelly Stamper. And this one is called Steal the Show. I'm just going to use this phrase here, but I'm going to break up the words. So next I'll be going in with Fusion's White 101 and on the snowman nail at the bottom I'll just be adding like a little curvy hill to show some snow and then I'm probably going to go in with some sugaring on this one too. Sugaring, I will be using this Wild Flowers Lily Pond, and I think it'll just give it that perfect extra oomph for the, the snow at the bottom of the nail there. So before I dust off any excess, I am going to go ahead and cure it because I did drop the sugaring um, into the wet gel and that's how it's supposed to be done and then you cure it. Otherwise it just won't have anything to adhere to. So one of the nails I am going to be doing like a sugared nail. So I'm going to go back in with the Magic Gel Strong Blue and that I'm just using as my base should in case, you know, I don't get the coverage I want. At least it'd be like a similar blue with the glitter that I'm using. But this blue glitter uh, that I'm going to be using is just beautiful. The sugar that I'll be going ahead and using is the Blue Fine from my Glitter Mix Canda haul as well. Like, isn't this so pretty, guys? I actually did my cousin's nails and I used this on her. So we were talking and I was like, okay, I have to use this in a set and I have to use it on myself. So... <laughs> We'll see how this turns out. So that I have something to adhere to, I am going to go in and apply some of my Magic Gel Top Coat. And then I'm just going to sprinkle the fine glitters into it and then cure it. And I'll end up curing it double the recommended time just to make sure that the glitters adhere to the, the top coat. ripping out my camera <laughs> how sparkly is this guys Ugh, I love it I love it I love it I love it so I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a cure so for the index finger I'm gonna be going in with magic gels azure eyes honestly guys this is such a beautiful blue too I mean like if this doesn't scream winter I don't know what does I think my next set of nails, I have to at least use this one, if anything. It is so pretty. I was thinking maybe I might do some nail around this, but now I don't know. Maybe I might leave it as is. We'll have to see. Ooh, maybe some snowflakes. I don't know, I'll see. <laughs> so for the index finger, I will be going in and adding some snowflakes. 
and I will be using this very fun snowflake plate. This is the CJS C24 stamping plate. And you can of course use these as like your layered images, but I don't think I'm gonna use them. I'm just gonna go in with some snowflakes. So I really wasn't planning on that one, but it sticked and it looks nice, so I'm going to leave it. <laughs> Since I already have one big one and one medium sized one, I don't want to take over too much of the base, so I'm just going to go in with some smaller snowflake images. just looks so beautiful once the top coat is applied and then once the top coat is applied it really helps to bring out the beauty in the polish and I like that the snowflakes weren't overpowering so you could still really get a good idea of what the base color is. for the thumb I'm gonna go in with turquoise haze to be honest I'm not sure yet what I'm doing on the thumb but hopefully something comes to mind <music> Thumb, I'll be going in and using Creative Shop 36 stamping plate and I want to use this no much fun image so I'm gonna do like a layered look so first I'm gonna stamp with the silver and then I'm gonna go in and stamp over it and angle it a bit with the white <music> So a little trick, if you pick up an image and it has like some excess things you don't want, especially with a matte top coat, you can just take a toothpick and rub it off and just like that, the unwanted part of the image is gone. So I know this kind of like layered stamping effect might not be for everyone, but for me personally, I like it. So, eh. <laughs> but obviously it'd be a bit more tricky to line the dots up, but at least I got the words and you can kind of see like the silver is like shadowing the white and that's what I was going for. So I'm just going to go in, add my top coat and then I'll show you what everything looks like together. And here is the final result of this fun blue winter set. Let me know what you guys think. I honestly love how it ended up turning out. Like, it is just so fun. And all of the blues that I picked worked very nicely together. I really, really love this layered um, frosty. It looks so, so cute. I'm in love with this glitter nail. Like, you guys know I love a glitter accent nail. So, this, like, sugared glitter nail, I am happy with, like... To be honest, I love everything, especially this gel that I use. I think it's really, really pretty. So let me know what you think down below, what your thoughts are. Make sure to leave any comments and or questions, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. As always, guys, please do give this video a thumbs up, and do make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Until next time, stay glamorous.